Hey, my love. So it is sunset. Sit here. We are back at it again. Except it's different because baby girl and baby boy. It's a whole new decade right now. And it took me a while to even get to this point. I'm not sure about you guys, but I real life feel like 2020 just was like, eh, wake up. And like real life jumped me and like attacked me. And I ain't gonna lie, I really was not ready. But here I am and basically I gotta be on my own neck, okay? I'm like committed to every goal that I've set doing my vision board. I'm gonna make a video about that soon, but I'm basically I'm on my own neck. So today's video, we are gonna talk about my current obsessions, okay? I don't mean just like, oh my God, what she that? I mean like my current music obsessions, my current TV show obsessions, food, all of that stuff. And then of course, skincare, because you already know your girl does not play about her skin. Okay, so let's just dive right on into it. So I realized that I've been really obsessed with a lot lately. Like from music to my skincare to food that I'm eating, shows that I'm watching. It's so many products and things that I just can't get enough, okay? So let's start with skincare first because when I tell you guys, if I don't have to wear makeup, I do not like to wear makeup. But yet, I wear makeup every day because I wear makeup for my job. I wear makeup to obviously right now. I just love the confidence that a nice beat face gives me. I can go outside without it, but I just don't want to. And then if you guys watched my last video, I told you guys that I'm not one of those girls that could just like get up and be like oh wash his face let me just go run some errands I am a girl that has to be put together okay I'm not one of those that can just get up and go with a nice natural I can but I just don't want to it's more fun playing with my different makeup palettes and foundations and just it's just more fun so in saying that when I get home I have to wash my face off okay and I'm one of those that if I'm in a car on my way home I already have my makeup wipes my micellar water which is a current obsession number one man okay so as you guys can see your girl needs some more okay somebody cash at me like six dollars <laughs> but no seriously like I'm down to like my last little baby drop of micellar water it is by Garnier skin active as you guys can see it is the micellar cleansing water this stuff guys is the goat and I'm not just saying that because I'm saying that okay like if Garnier wants to come and like write me like a little check to continue pubbing for them slide in my DM but no seriously guys I put this stuff on like a cotton ball or a cotton pad I prefer a cotton pad because it's just bigger it's more circular and I feel like sometimes with the cotton balls it absorbs too quickly and I feel like I don't really get to use as much as I want but yet it uses way too much product but then I'm always done with the cotton ball before I even get to get through half of my face so guys I pour a little bit of this on my cotton pad and man literally your whole face just wipes off okay it gives me such a nice refreshing glow you don't even have to wash your face after you use this which is amazing so if you guys go to walmart or walgreens or tarjay if you bougie okay you guys will find this but of course we're de depending on where you go sometimes it may be a little bit more expensive i usually get mine from walmart it's like six dollars i go for the pink top there's also one that has a blue top there's one that has a green top and i think that's it now they all do something different i go for this one because it's the all-in-one it removes makeup and cleanses and soothes no rinse no harsh eye rubbing it's for your lips face eyes all of that stuff and it's for all skin types even sensitive and i think that my skin type kind of changes but i think for the most part i do have sensitive skin along with dry oily combination all of that good stuff so this is my go-to when i'm in a car on my way home whole face comes out okay i leave out looking like beyonce come back looking like the help okay <laughs> if i'm being honest okay so this is like my go-to fave now I'm not one of those that likes to go to sleep just after they've used the micellar water. When I get home, I have a whole 10 minute routine. Okay, my fiance hates me because I'm like, see in the room, I gotta do my face routine. I don't care, don't care, don't care. So after I use my micellar water, I have to go wash my face with Cetaphil. Cetaphil is like my go-to cleanser. Now I've tried a lot 
of cleansers okay I've tried some high-end brand cleansers I've tried so many but for some reason micellar as cheap as it is is the only one that has been able to stick for me I love it because it has no scent let's smell it again hold on it has no scent it just feels nice and calming and soothing on my face it's not harsh it doesn't make my skin dry and it's a gentle skin cleanser which is great so it's mild non irritating formula it softens and cleans so not being funny guys my face literally feels like a little baby's butt I said what I said <laughs> So after that, I go in like with a cleanser and things like that. I like my cleanser, but that's not one of my current obsessions, okay? Now, I don't know about you guys, but as old as I am, or as young as I am, whichever way you want to take this comment, your girl still has like really acne-prone skin. Like, at what point does acne get out of the door and go mess up somebody else's life? Like, I wish that, like, once you get a certain age, it could be like, okay, great. You've now passed the acne stage. Congrats. Thank you. I've made it. Thank you. Thank you. I don't miss you. Don't call me. But no, my acne, every now and again, it pops up. Especially if it's kind of around that time of the month, girls. You already know what I'm saying. Bumps are like, ooh, hello. I missed you. And then they pop up in, like, the craziest places and guys it is so so stressful and so annoying okay so my main thing that helps keep acne at bay or helps me get rid of my pimples very very quickly because like I said I wear makeup like every single day so don't nobody got time to put makeup on top of your bumps and then your face look like a dang on Nestle crunch bar don't nobody got time for that okay so what I am currently obsessed with I kind of feel bad even sharing this information because I mean are we really friends and like are we really cool before I start giving you like my tea like we you need to subscribe like comment share all of that before I start giving y'all my real secrets okay but no seriously so I am obsessed with Neutrogena rapid clear stubborn acne medication okay I don't even want to tell y'all too much because the next time I go try to buy it and it's not there, I'm going to be so mad that everybody has watched this video and has went and bought it up all, okay? So, I am obsessed with this stuff. This is the maximum strength. Now, like I said, though I have sensitive skin, when I get those bumps and those pimples every now and again, I need the big, strong, maximum strength stuff to, like, get rid of my stuff, okay? Now, the good thing about this is that it is 10% benzoyl peroxide. Now, I'm about to give y'all a little bit of tea because the normal acne medicine gels, they only have about like 2%. This one, guys, has 10. 10. Did you hear that? 10. How? Man, so I'm not being funny, guys. After I tone and moisturize my face, I go in with a nice goop of this. Boop. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I will put this up all over my face. Boop, 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 and be perfectly fine. Judge your mama, I do not care. I do not care. So, I'm not being funny, guys. The next day I wake up, for the most part, it's gone, or it has gone down tremendously. So, this is the GOAT. I'm not even going to lie. Another thing that I'm obsessed about, guys, let's get the food because I don't even know what time it is, but your girl has not eaten yet. But I'm not going to lie, y'all. Chipotle is for life. I love Chipotle. <laughs> I promise I do. I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. Just give me like two seconds because I had to go in with. Woo! Y'all, I can't even get my synthesis together. Just give me a second. I just got home, and you know it's real when you gotta use a spoon. Not just a regular spoon, but your house spoon. You already know it's real. So, my bowl, guys, I do. Uh, I do lettuce. I do sour cream on the side because I don't like my bowl to be like too meke meke. You know, if you're Jamaican, you already know meke meke is like mushy and like weird. I do chicken. I do guac on the side because sometimes I don't really want my my bowl to be too guacky. I do uh, corn. And then, of course, I do some white rice. I get extra white rice because I'm fancy. And then, y'all, I get a... Uh, <laughs> I'm so petty because I'll get a cup on the side for water and I fill it up with lemonade. Savage. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm, 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 mm. This is some good stuff. Like, who made this chicken, man? Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I'm, I'm ready. Hold on. Am I the only person that dances when they eat? I hope not. 
I gotta go in and get one more little scoop because I don't really know if I'm doing it justice right now. Chipotle hits different with the spoon. I'm telling you. Okay. Hmm. I'ma get back. That was just yummy in my tummy. So let's talk TV shows, okay guys? My current obsession is you. Okay, if you guys have watched Netflix, you season two. I just binge watched it the other day and I am obsessed, okay? I did not expect the ending, the beginning, the middle, or anything like that, okay? I really think that Joe is a psychopath and a narcissist, but you guys have to watch it. I don't even want to tell you guys too many details about you season two on Netflix, so please go watch it. Also, if you guys have got any more suggestions for like TV shows and movies, Go ahead and comment toward the bottom. I absolutely hate when I'm trying to binge watch something good and all of a sudden I spend my whole hour that I'm going to be up clicking through stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. That's so annoying. So you season two. Also guys, Temptation Island. I don't know what it is about this drama. I'm not sure if it's scripted or not. But I can tell y'all a little bit about this. You season two is more popular so I'm pretty sure you guys have already heard. So Temptation Island basically is with couples couples who are kind of figuring out if they want to stay together if this is even working what do they want to do do they even like each other do they even know each other's favorite color i just don't know they put the girls in one house the guys in one house okay and basically it's exactly what it sounds like now these people are in committed relationships they're in this house with other singles who basically are tempting their partner and guys the stuff that goes down on this show I just don't know how this happens like I just don't know it's a it's a tough show to watch and I feel so bad for even laughing at it at times because I'm like oh my gosh what if this was me I just don't know what I would do how I would react I just don't know so Temptation Island and you are like my two favorite obsessions currently okay now for music I'm not gonna lie guys I'm liking anything ratchet nowadays okay Go ahead and judge me. Okay, I'm loving me some Meg the Stallion. That song twerk. Like, listen, I just love me some Meg the Stallion. I've been working on my Megan Lee's, my Megan knees lately, and I don't know. I feel like I need a couple more sessions in the gym and like to really make sure that my knees are equipped. Or maybe they sell like Megan knees on like, I don't know, Instagram or Amazon. You already know, whenever you Google something, you get on Facebook and whatever you were searching already pops up. So I'm gonna go and search for like some Megan knees. Or maybe I need to watch like some, some new videos because your girl does not have that much rhythm <laughs> at all. So I am obsessed with anything that makes me twerk and go crazy and like, hey, turn up. I'm obsessed with all of that lately, okay? Also, what I'm obsessed with lately, guys, is this beat hair removal, okay? So I don't know about you ladies or you fellas or whatever, but I get like a five o'clock shadow right here. Hmm, all right, don't be trying to zoom in on me and look, but I definitely get like a little bit of a five o'clock shadow work on my mustache so that's on my face <laughs> okay <sighs> anyways so i'm obsessed with this b it's a three-in-one face cream kit hair removal cream okay and it basically works just like a nair like you just put it on your upper lip mm, for a few minutes sometimes it'll ting a little bit but sometimes i used to feel like oh my god yeah it's tingling yeah that means that it's working working and then one time guys i dang on there burnt my lip off it was red it was hurting I put on makeup shortly after that and all you saw was this big old red line across your lip. Basically, don't be a me. Basically. So only leave it on for the amount of time that it says, which is usually like three minutes. And then it's great. Y'all, when I tell you it has aloe vera in it, which is great. After that, you just wipe it off and like, man, five o'clock shadow where? Who? Where? Mustache who? You don't have a mustache, girl. You are smooth as a baby's butt, okay? Because I am so hairy. I don't know. Maybe I was a man in my past life or what. But your girl is so hairy at times. Like, I got hair on my arms. My arm hair does not affect me like that. I know people that shave their arms hair, but it doesn't really affect me. So after you use the face cream removal right here, I clearly need some more because this stuff is almost done. You go in with the gentle finishing cream, which has aloe vera in it. And it's basically to like calm down the area that you basically just um, waxed and hair removed. So these are my faves. I usually get these from like Walmart, Target, or 
Walgreens, either or. It's probably like $7 for both. They come together. And yeah, that's like my current obsession, okay? Get that mustache right off. Bye-bye. We don't miss you. Don't come back. Even though mine comes back like every month. The joys of having PCOS. But that's a story for another day, okay? Now let's talk fashion. One thing that I am totally obsessed with, with me being a girly girl. I like rhinestones, glitter, color, confetti, every single thing like that. I am obsessed with these shoes, okay? Look at them. Are they not the cutest thing ever? I'm not even sure what color this is. It's like a pink color. But look at all of these rhinestones on there. Oh my gosh. They are like the cutest thing ever. I got them last season from Aldo. And they are so cute, guys. Okay? They take your look from zero to hero really, really quick. Like, look at this. There is no shortage at all of rhinestones and pizzazz at all. These are like my faves. Oh my gosh. Like literally, no matter what I put on, I'm always like, oh my gosh, can like my sparkly shoes go with this? I also have them in white, okay? I need them in black. I need them in like every other color too. But these are like my current faves right here. Love these shoes to death. I kind of want to put them on now just like to walk around the house and be cute. But I'm not even going to do that. And I'm obsessed with a ton of other things, guys. But ugh, at this point, I feel like I will be talking forever. <laughs> So if you guys like this video, subscribe, comment, let me know in the comments below. Tell a friend to tell a friend to come check out Sunset Sid because, like I said earlier, I'm stepping on my own neck, okay? Basically, I said what I said. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Bye.